Those documents went up after the close of business on Friday, before the city council meeting and the agenda for Wednesday's meeting. Chief investigative reporter Wendy Halloran broke this investigation back in December with multiple parts along the way that got us to this point tonight. Wendy. Well, Heidi and Mark, that's for sure. The mayor has picked executive officer and PIO Danielle Croyle to lead the department. Who is Danielle Croyle? Let me tell you about her background. In April, she will have been with the Salt, South Salt Lake Police Department for four years. Prior to that, she worked her way up at the Ogden Police Department, first as a patrol sergeant, and then became investigation lieutenant. Now, according to her resume, Croyle served as captain for Ogden PD from July 2017 until September of 2018. Her resume then lists that she was an administrative officer for the FBI in the Salt Lake Field Division office from September 2018 until December 2019. Now, four months later, she was hired as executive executive officer for the South Salt Lake Police Department and is the person responsible for speaking to the media. In 2022, she was one of three finalists for police chief for Utah State University, but did not get the job. Now, in August of 2022, she spoke on camera for one of our at-large Utah's fugitive seg seg segments. Her resume boasts skills such as SWAT negotiator, advanced PIO, sexual assault investigator, and domestic violence investigator. And she has a bachelor's degree from Weber State University as well. So people as they're watching this play out, Wendy, want to know how unusual this is to have someone selected in place and ready to go. And if it would be normal to have a nationwide search before they actually narrow it down or if maybe that's already happened. Right. Well, it, actually it hasn't and that's, that's an excellent question. Um, now the mayor said uh, in her statement to me on Friday that she paraphrased what Chief Jack Cruz claims uh, that with changes comes opportunity and that she's confident 2024 will signal a new era for the police department with new leadership, new ideas, and new approaches. Now, it's important to note to the question, while the mayor can appoint whoever she chooses, right. the, the council members must approve this. However, there was no search for this. We can't find a job posting for this. Uh, suitable candidates, you know, qualified candidates are, were, are denied or deprived that opportunity to apply for this position. And this position, according to Chief Carew's salary data, uh, is well over two hundred thousand dollars including benefits so normally uh, what you would see in a situation like this at police departments across the country is they would appoint an interim chief uh -huh. while they conduct the search and the, and the mayor may have that person in mind as she does Danielle Croyle uh, but it would give an opportunity to you know look elsewhere you know they want fresh new ideas and perspective but Croyle works in the department and has worked in the department, so it eliminates the possibility of, you know, potentially hiring someone else outside the confines of the police department. And also, uh, you know, as Paul mentioned, uh, it deprives the city council the opportunity to vet Danielle Croyle. You know, they found out about this Friday in a late night news dump is what we call it. They published the agenda at 5.09 p.m. after business hours, and that's how I knew we're potentially going to have a new police chief for South Salt Lake. So technically speaking, she'll have to speak before the council on Wednesday, uh, answer questions from the council members, and then they will vote, you know, to approve her or not approve her. But they were not given the opportunity and the time to, to vet her and technically speaking, again, back to the business days. So Friday 509 is not counted a business day. So you have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and you could have a new police yeah. chief. Yeah. Well, I know we're That's gonna, quick. I know we're going to stay on top of this. So yes, absolutely. More, more to come, I think. <laughs> this yes. All right, sure Wendy, will. thank you so much. Thank you.